to be my mom like my younger self. Like a mom like So the question is, would you want you as a person, you to be your mom as as you was as a kid? Yeah, the So like if you was a, your kid self would have a mama like you this now. Yeah, would my kid self want a mom like me, the mom I am now? Like would my kid self want that? A mom like that. And I kind of feel like, yes, I, w I would want a mom like me because I feel like I give Madison what I didn't have. Like, you know, I wanted to grow, not grow. But the whole thing is always want to be a better parent. Even if your parent wasn't a bad parent, you can be, most people either want to be like the parent they had or a better parent than what they had. Yeah. Like, I feel like I give Madison the space she needs to grow as a person, to grow, to figure out who she is. But also, I'm still there for her through it. Like, ask me questions. We can talk about it. But I don't, I don't want to pressure her, you know, to yeah. talk about something that she's not ready to talk about, to... Uh, like she's just she's figuring out this world she's just a younger version you know she's she's figuring that's, out her emotions like that's a good question though you can't I feel like you can't like I think if I was a mom and could like could like have to answer that question I would want to be a mom like my mom I, I would want to that. be the exact parent that my mom was. Really? Yes. I don't want, like, I don't feel like my mom could have did anything better. She, if, even if she thinks she could have. I don't think she could have did anything better. Because I feel like my childhood was like great. Was like, yeah. I feel like, like, it's great. Like, so I don't think anything to me she did wrong. That I, I feel like I try to do the opposite of what my parents did. Yeah, because if you don't like what they did, like your parent did, you're going to always want to be better than what they did. But I can't say I want to be a better parent than my parent because I don't see nothing my mama could have did better. Mm -hmm. That's That's not. Not. Like I used to have to, like I used to hate the apologize to people like everybody don't have that good childhood and I used to then want to talk about like oh my childhood I was spoiled and this and that like and talk about my like great parts of my childhood because they talk about the they whole childhood was sad so I used to have to get like keep my stuff behind so I wouldn't like feel like I was making them feel bad But then I just got in the back of saying, like, why should you have to apologize for the childhood that you had? Exactly. Because it's not, it's not your fault. Like, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, exactly. That'd you be really me. Didn't. That'd be me taken away from what my mom did. Right. To give me that great childhood. Right. Like. So I was like, yeah. Stop. You don't have to apologize for that. And you shouldn't. Or you like, shouldn't have not, to hold back the exciting part of your life. But they here telling you about the parts of their past, like, like when they were younger. But you can't talk about yours because cause yours don't measure up to their trauma. Yeah. Because you didn't have trauma, but it's going to be like me telling something like, are you rubbing this in my face? Like, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. So I used to have to hold back. And then I was like, no. I'm not apologizing for what I had as a child. Or, yeah, because it's not your fault that... Or that I had no traumas. And, like, it's... I'm going to brag about it. Like, I didn't. But I'm not bragging on about it and saying how you did or anything else. Yeah, like, you know, your mom did the... She did everything. Did, did so much for you. Why not brag about your mom? Look at her now. She still what? Spoil me now. Just kick her. 
but she spoiled me still. And, and, I'm, best and, I, life. and I'm grown. And my mom always said, she said, no matter how old we get, <laughs> we always her kids. So we always her babies. Mm -hmm. So it don't matter. I get that. Because, oh, it's killing me. It is killing me softly. That Madison is. I think he about to leave. I think we're going to get a good parking spot, girl. What are you doing? They say you think positive. And say, I know I'm going to park up close. I know I'm going to park up close. Dude, quit. Don't be playing. Please don't be playing. You know we try It's cold outside. I know you trying to get in that car. I am going to say, he better not play. It's like below zero out here. And he, he walking slow. And they behind us with the speakers about to blow out the trunk. Mm -hmm. No, it's cold. Dude, why he been? Is, is he playing? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, he backed up Let so slow. Wait one second, baby. Oh, Lord. Turn, dude. What the freak? Oh, we get the first part. It's like, girl, I like That's that. why I wasn't tripping. <laughs> if y'all do, I go. That's why I wasn't tripping. Oh my gosh. If. Oh, no, you gotta wait on this side. Damn, you're going to have to wait. We made these people behind us wait too long. You better not make that call, girl. Y'all don't understand. It's below zero out here. We you got the you first see that lady? parking spot. I was seeing spot. her. I said, oh, no. We're not getting right here. We're getting right here. Ooh, won't he do it? Won't he do it? He knew I was cold. And the Lord said, I don't bless you. I don't even want to get out the call. I bless you. Where else we got to go? I bless you. Where else we got? We don't have another day, baby. But I at least got one day to do it. Where else We can still go to Sam's. Um, this we can still go to Sam's. Okay. I'm just saying. Because their toilet paper lasted a long time. Duh. And I like the nine pack thing. So we can just, you know, keep it in that bag.